Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I've missed working with you. This is Mr. Dunlop, your music teacher. I hope you are being safe. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing, and I hope you're staying inside as much as possible. Because I'm not able to work with you in class twice a week, I'm going to be taping a series of music lessons to help you progress as musicians, even though you can't be at school in music class with me twice a week anymore for a while. So, I'm going to do this over the next two or three weeks, and my goal is to get you a new lesson, at least one new lesson every week. Today's lesson is going to be on clefs. You play a bass clef instrument. Now, if you remember, a staff has five lines and four spaces. We did that at the beginning of the year and in recorder class. How many lines does the staff have? If you said five lines, you're correct. How many spaces does the staff have? If you've said four spaces, you're correct. Now, how do we figure out what the notes are on a bass clef staff? We start from the bottom and we go to the top. So this is the first line. What's this line, everybody? First line, good. So we're going to say first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Everyone say it with me. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Again, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Now let's do the same thing with spaces. This is the first space. Everyone say it with me. First space, second space, third space, fourth space. Again, first space, second space, third space, fourth space. Let's go back up to the line notes now. The first line note is G. What's the first line note? Good. So, the first line note's G, the second line note's B, the third line note is D, the fourth line note is F, and the fifth line note is A. Now everybody say the line notes with me. G, B, D, F, A. One more time. G, B, D, F, A. Now, how can you remember those five line notes? You can use the mnemonic device, good burritos don't fall apart. Everybody say that with me. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Now, let's say that with the notes. Ready, go. Good burritos don't fall apart. One more time. Good burritos don't fall apart without me. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now let's try it just using the letters. Just the letters. G, we're doing it together. G, B, D, F, A. Again, G, B, D, F, A. Now, try it without me. Good job. Give yourselves another pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now we're going to move on to the space notes. The space notes are first space A. Everyone say first space A. Second space D C. Everyone say second space C. Third space E. Say third space E. And fourth space G. Everyone say fourth space G. Now say all of them. A, C, E, G. Again, A, C, E, G. Good. Now try it one time without me. How do you remember A, C, E, G? You say, all cows eat grass. Everybody say that. All cows eat grass. One more time. All cows eat grass without me. Now let's do it with the notes. All cows eat grass. Ready? You go. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass without me. Good job. Now let's just say the letter name now, not the whole all cows eat grass. We're just going to say the first letter. Ready? Go. A C E G. One more time. A C E G. E, G, without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. That was good. 
Now, here's the really neat thing about how to practice. This is a really neat thing. Everyone hold your hand up. Okay, this can be a music staff. So if you can, get manuscript paper. Ask your parents to get you some manuscript paper. But if you can't, it's okay. You can use your hand to practice. I think I taught you this in recorder class. Anyway, hold up your hand. These fingers, they're your line notes. G, B, D, F, A. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Here's your space notes. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass. Good job. Now, you could have somebody practice with you, someone you live with. They could be a brother or sister. They could be your guardian. And they could say, what's this note? You would say D. What's this note? This is G. So practice with someone who lives with you, or you can practice on your own. This is D. This is G. This is C. So use your hand to practice or get manuscript paper. Next, we will be going over instrument-specific notes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dunlop again. Our next lesson is going to be on notes. How to identify notes and how to identify where they are on the staff. Your instrument is the cello. The first thing you need to understand, or one of the first things you need to understand when you're identifying note names is key signature. Everyone say key signature. So key signatures tell you which notes are sharp or flat? What do key signatures tell you? Right, which notes are sharp or flat? The first key you learn on cello is the key of D. What key do you learn on cello? Right, the key of D, which happens to be my daughter's favorite letter. So the key of D, ladies and gentlemen, has two sharps. What does the key of D have? And that's what your key signature looks like, two sharps. Here's the neat thing about key signature. The sharps are on the notes that are affected. So the sharps are on the notes that are gonna be sharp. So let's see, where are the sharps? What notes are sharp in the key of D when there's two sharps? Let's find out. So the first one is on the fourth line. Now if you remember in class, we talked about how to count up and figure out what the notes are. So what is the fourth line? The fourth line is good, Burritos don't fall apart. So fall, F. So the first sharp is on F. That means all Fs are sharp. What does it mean? Good, all Fs are sharp. Now that means wherever the F is, if it's up here, if it's down there, if it's on the staff, it's always gonna be F sharp. Now, the second sharp is on the second space. All cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. So all cows, C. So the second sharp is on C. That means all C's are sharp. Wherever the C is, if it's up there, down there in the staff, it's always going to be C sharp. So your key signature for the key of D tells you all F's and C's are sharp. What does it tell you? All? Right. All F's and C's are sharp. Say it one more time. All? All F's and C's are sharp. Good. Let's move on now. The eight notes you need to know on cello are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Now, where are those notes on the staff? Let's review really quickly. We're gonna start here. Everybody say third line D. So just repeat after me when I say the notes. Third line D. Third space E. Fourth line F sharp. Fourth space G. Fifth line A. Above the staff B. Ledger line C sharp. Above the ledger line D. Good. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. So now I'm going to talk to you about the process I use to identify notes. The first question I ask myself is, is this note a line or a space note? Then, I ask myself, what line or space is it on? So let's look at this note here. Is it a line note or a space note? What do you think? It's a space note. If you said space note, you're correct. 
Now, what space node is it? Let's find out. First space, second space, third space. It's the third space. All cows eat, so it's third space E. Let's see if we're right. We're right. Okay. Same process. Now we have, is that a line node or a space node? It's a line node. Good. And it's the fourth line. So good burritos don't fall. We know that's F. So let's click on F. I got it wrong? How did I get it wrong? It's F. It, good burritos don't Oh, I know what I did. I forgot about the key signature. That's right. So two sharps, F and C are sharp. So it's not F, it's F sharp because of the key signature. So let's click on F sharp. So once again, why, why did, was that F sharp or not F? Because of the what? The key signature, good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let you try to figure out what the notes are and I'm gonna tell you what the answer is. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? So it's a line note and it's on the third line, so it is D. Ladies and gentlemen, what's that note? That note is fourth space G. And what is that note? That note is third space E. And what is that note? That note is fifth line A. And what is that note? That note is third line D. And what is that note? That note is fourth line F. And what do we need to do? We need to think about the key signature. Fourth line F sharp. And what is that note? That note is third line D. And what is that note? That note is fourth line F sharp, and we know by now it's F sharp. And what is that note? That note is above the staff B. Everyone say above the staff B. And what is that note? That note is above the ledger line D. Everyone say above the ledger line D. Good. And what is that note? That note is fourth space G. And what is that note? That note is So we have we go to the top. Good readers don't fall apart. Count one up, B, C, and we have to do what? C is what? C sharp, right. So that is C sharp. And what is that note? That note is third line D. And what is that note? That note is fourth line F sharp. And what is that note? That note is third space E. And ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is fifth line A. And what is that note? That note is ledger line C what? Remember C? C sharp, yes. Yes, ledger line C sharp. And what is that note? That note is fourth space G. And what is that note? That note is third space E. And what is that note? That note is third line D. And what is that note? That note is fifth line A. And what is that note? That note is fourth space G. And what is that note? That note is above the line B. And what is that note? 
That note is third space E. And what is that note? That note is fifth line A. And what is that note? That note is fourth line F. And what do we need to do? Key signature F sharp. Yes, F sharp. And last one. What is that note? That note is above the ledger line D. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating in this lesson. If you got all of them right, congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. If you got most of them right, good job. Give yourselves a thumbs up. And if you didn't get that many of them right, that's okay. You just need more practice. You can use this lesson over again, or you can practice with your hand on the staff, like we talked about last time. Also, if you want or need more practice, the link to this specific exercise is in the description box below. Thank you.